Hello friends, I am Ashwin. Welcome to my chess channel. In this video, I will show you a beautiful chess game which also features a nasty queen trap in Sicilian defense Najdorf variation. And some of you might be thinking why one should watch these kind of short games rather than just watching Grandmaster's chess. Well, there are two reasons. One is one should always learn the opening mistakes. And second, if your opponent is making mistake, in order to punish him, one should watch these kind of games. So this game was played between Wawereski against the Goddess in 1917-5. Wawereski had a white piece. He started the game with pawn to e4. Goddess replied with pawn to c5. And now knight to f3, pawn to d6, pawn to d4, c capture d4, knight capture d4. And now knight to f6, attacking this e4. Knight to c3, protecting the e4. And now pawn to a6. And we are in the territory of Sicilian Najdorf. And here main move is bishop to g5 which was played by Wawraski. And normally people play pawn to e6 in this position. But black played knight b to d7 which is also playable. And here white played very calm move bishop to e2. And now pawn to h6 kicking this bishop. But keep in mind that this pawn to h6 weakens this g6 square. Bishop to h4. And now very usual stuff pawn to b5 gaining a space on the queen side but this weakens this c6 square but black is aiming to play bishop to b7 at any point of time so white played knight to d5 which sets a really nasty trap here if knight capture e4 then knight to c6 traps this queen as you can see queen has no square to move so knight capture on e4 is out of question. So in this position, black played bishop to b7, stopping this knight to c6. But let's have a look what happened in case of knight capture on d5, and which is the best move for black in this position. But after pawn capture on d5, this pawn on d5 gives some nice chances to this white's knight to land on c6 square at the right moment and give white some space on the queen side. But let's have a look. After knight to d5 and bishop to b7, it's a white to move and the game is over. White is winning at least a queen. You can pause the video if you wish and find the move. Ready? And the correct move is knight to e6, attacking the queen. And of course you can't take this knight here. Because after pawn capture on e6, bishop h5. So this is the drawback of this h6 move. Knight capture on h5, queen capture on h5 check, pawn to g6 and queen capture on g6 is just checkmate. So after knight e6, actually in this game, black resigned. But let's have a look what happened in case of queen to a5. It's a check. But white can play bishop, sorry, pawn to b4, attacking the queen. And the thing is that you can save the queen on a4, no doubt about it, or even on a3. But point is that knight to c7 is checkmate. So this is not only the threat of winning queen, it is also a threat of checkmate with two knights. A really beautiful game and a really great trap. What do you think? So I hope friends that you have liked my video and if you have liked my video, please subscribe this channel, do comment here and press the like button for the same. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.